Thank you, Louise. What a touching rendition. Remembrance Week wrapped up today with the convocation ceremony. Our Zach Richter joins us live outside Hendricks Chapel with more. Zach. Good evening, guys. This somber week of remembrance wrapped up today here behind me at Hendricks Chapel with the convocation ceremony. And there were hundreds of friends and family members who knew the victims in Pan Am Flight 103 in attendance. It was just very emotional, and the Chancellor Kent Severed was there, and when he spoke, he addressed the 35 remembrance scholars who deal all their time over the past week and the past year to the victims. I thank you for your hard work this year. I thank you for the values you represent. May you continue to work to make this world a better place, not by forgetting the past and moving on, but by understanding the past and learning from it. 1 point said he struggles to find the words to stay for this event every year because he did not know one of the victims. Now for the Remembrance Scholars, they put all their time into this, especially this week, and one of them spoke at the ceremony today. Besides the Remembrance Scholars, Dean Brian Conkle was in attendance, and so was the Hendricks Chapel Choir, as you just heard a moment ago. But even if you did not know one of the victims, it was still a very touching ceremony for all. We're live outside Hendricks Chapel tonight. Zach Richter for Citrus TV News.